next play, getting unlucky with 13. Don't like my outfit? Why not rip it off in WWE SmackDown? And this man sets the record straight in Armed and Dangerous. I'm a mole, you smelly kids. Well, there's no need for name calling. It's game time. Please welcome your hosts, the lovely and vivacious Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I'm lovely and Yes, you are. Welcome to x Plague. We have a great show for you, including a review of the beautiful cell-shaded shooter 13. And before you rush out and buy it, you're, you're going to want to hear what we have to say about it. Now, on top of that, we review the new WWE SmackDown. And there's a game from LucasArts that actually pokes fun at Star Wars. Yes, and we have an interview with Batman himself. Adam West. We have the same name. And if you can't get enough of the war in Iraq from the nightly news, we have a squad based shooter that you and your administration are gonna love. <laughs> but we begin with a game some people have been very excited about, 13. I am, I am guilty as charged on that excitement thing. Yeah, well still, it comes to us from one of the most consistent developers out there, which is Ubisoft. You know, they're the people responsible for Splinter Cell and Prince of Persia and Beyond Good and Evil. So does 13 hold up as well as those titles? Well, here's our review. All right, it's no secret that 13 is pretty. Ugh. But how pretty is it? That's why throughout this review, we'll be playing 13, hot or not. Our first comparison is between unnecessary child of privilege, Paris Hilton and 13. You guessed it, 13 is hotter. The game isn't just graphically impressive, it's graphically inventive. What the? 13 uses the comic book effect to add drama to the usual gunfights. And panel displays alert you to actions that are just out of view. But it's also integrated right into the gameplay. These visual onomatopoeias key you into an enemy and the direction they're walking in and become essential for the owner of stealth missions in the game. More on that later. Challenge two, divorcee boy toy Ashton Kutcher, or 13. That's right, 13 is hotter. Simply put, the game is so chock full of visual inventiveness that anyone will get a thrill playing to experience its creativity. Problem is, the thrill wanes once you want to play a good shooter. The game starts off strong with your loss of memory and the legions of men wanting your hide followed by an exciting stealth mission in a bank and a damn challenging firefight in some rocky cliffs. But suddenly the game seems to become exhausted with itself. Because despite the pretty pictures, 13 is a pretty standard shooter. Where the game could have saved itself is if the shooting was more engaging, but the artificial intelligence is far too simplistic and predictable. Enemies are either dead shots or complete dolts. What the? Who runs at a man with a gun? With the amazing firefights in games like Call of Duty and Halo, 13's combat just feels stilted. This is compounded by the abundance of stealth missions, especially at the end of the game. Reporting is ordered, Captain. T. Stealth means you have to move slowly, which makes the game go slow. A little stealth is good. Too much turns 13 into a drag. But the game's imagery is enough to hold you to the end. You'll just wish that the strength of the game could match its looks. We're checking out, but with reservations. We give it a three out of five. And our last challenge, expanded cable personality and exhibitionist extraordinaire, Adam Sessler, or 13. You're right, ladies, the game's not that pretty. Oh, my eyes. Thank God the fig leaf blew into the picture. No, 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 that's a tattoo. <laughs> 
by all means, check this game out. It is a unique and beautiful game, but really, that alone can't make up for the seriously flawed gameplay. I'm still blind. Just, 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 just blink a bit. I also dislike David Duchovny's voice acting. It kind of sounds like he'd rather be investigating the odious goings on at a rent center. Still, the excellent voice work by Batman star Adam West more than makes up for it. And that's why I got so excited when I got the call. Man, I'm never going to make a difference. Hello? This is Adam West. It's time for us to meet Adam. Come to my secret hideout. Finally! Fighting crime! on this. And Robin with the ass There you go. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for Eddie Sith Lords. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to find Adam West. Adam West? The you know, secret bat lair or anything like that around here? Uh, one that away. You will see Batman. Oh wait, your movie sucked. Yeah, whatever. No, he wouldn't like that. Josh Huckabor, that's definitely not Adam West. No. Adam, where are you? No. Adam, where are you? Follow the signs, West. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Pleasure. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I finally found you. Well, Adam, I don't know how the hell you did it, but uh, good work. All right. Must Thank be you. a crime fighter. I, yeah, I see. So, um, let's just start things off. Let's, let's, let's talk about the video game 13. You're doing the voice of Jandal Carrington. The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. When you go to do voice work for a video game, how does it work? Are you there for one, two, three days? You're going for maybe uh, three hours. Usually, there are no other actors. Uh, you go in and work by yourself uh, with the director and all the other folks. And uh, it, it's a very creative thing because you have to, based on you know what they've told you, you have to kind of conjure up the character. <laughs> Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. You can prepare, really cook with it, and come in and bring something and do your work. and. It's that simple. Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leak. Now, you and your voice become a cultural icon. Let's, let's, let's talk about the role that got you there, and that's, of course, Batman. Emergency. Batman speaking. How did you come up with the way that the, the Batman talks? All I had to do was pull on that cowl with the funny little ears, and I just instantly became Batman in the speech patterns and whatever. Batman muses. A lot, Adam? Good thinking, Robin. Yes, Commissioner. Yes, right away, Commissioner. Robin, to the bat poles. Have you ever seen any of the Batman video games? No. All right, well, that's good for you, because they're, cause they're, cause they're terrible. I've heard rumors. What's wrong? Imagine this. You're hanging from a rope, spinning in slow circles with your ass three feet from the ground. 
Does that sound like Batman to you? No, no, they missed the target. And, uh, you know, maybe we should do... You'd make a good Robin. Maybe we should do uh, uh, the game Batman the way it should be done. Holy overly snug Robin suit, Batman! It was, it was the biggest size that they had! Oh, God. Would you rather the tattoo? See, make up your mind. Anyway, I gotta tell you, Adam West was so cool in person. It was, it was, an, it was a pleasure. It was an honor, Adam. Yes. First, naked photos of you, and then a Robin suit. We're gonna get so much prison mail. What, what, what kind of prison? Not the women's prison. Mm. Up next, ashes, ashes. We all fall down in conflict, desert storm two. Hey, we gotta get going. I'll put the orders in the car. Just grab my brother's gift, okay? You forgot my brother's gift. No. Uh, I didn't forget. It said, um, Circuit City. We're gonna pick it up on the way. Forget. I didn't forget. You forgot. That's why with Express Pickup, you can order gifts online and pick up within minutes. It's that fast. Circuit City, we're with you. Wow, that was fast. I have no idea. What? Huh? All right, let's go, guys. Cougar, I got you back. Roger that. Jester, you copy? What's he doing? Jester? Jester! Hold your fire! Hey, he almost shot me! What the? Jester! You idiot! Oh! I'm out! Me too! Oh, man, Jester, what's the deal, dude? What you doing? <laughs> what so calm to U.S. Navy SEALs rated M for mature. Jester? Three years ago, it began. Come, Master. And now it has come to an end. Explore the Fellowship with Tech TV special Lord of the Rings. Go behind the scenes, get inside the special effects, and hear what the actors have to say. Oh, he's so much under my skin. He's crazy. Tech TV special Lord of the Rings. This Wednesday night at 8 30, 7 30 Central, only on Tech TV. To buy a vowel from Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. We're back mm -hmm. with the sequel to a bad game. You know, when the first game isn't very good, there aren't usually very many people clamoring for more awfulness. Well, just the idiots. Now, much in the same way Schwarzenegger getting elected governor caused the networks to rerun Red Heat. <laughs> Current events have now compelled the makers of Conflict Desert Storm to issue forth a sequel. Yes, and of course we gave the first one a two out of five. Is the second one better? And does anyone care? Mm, find out in our review of Conflict Desert Storm 2. Try as we might, we can't seem to get this guy. Now it's time for gamers everywhere to have a go. The problem is, Conflict Desert Storm 2, Back to Baghdad, takes place during the 1991 Iraqi War, not the 2003 sequel. Oh well, there's still an off chance we'll find him in the game, right? Yoo-hoo, Saddam, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, so Saddam doesn't actually make an appearance in the game. But that doesn't mean you don't have your work cut out for you, because Conflict Desert Storm 2 is very challenging. The game plays like a first or third person shooter, but because you can only control one man at a time, most of the buttons on your controller are used to give orders to your comrades. You've got civilians down there, check your fire. The level of control over your squad is very impressive, but it's also a bitch to learn, especially the advanced location command, which takes three button presses and both analog sticks to pull off. You've got to pick up the pace, or those Delta boys ain't gonna be around to say thanks. Thank goodness both Scotty down. And Private Elmer Fudd are part of the squad. Later, once you've mastered the controls, you'll find that the best way to play is slowly and carefully. Switch to the right character at the right time. You'll also find that there's more to the game than just shooting the bad guys. Secondary items in your inventory get a lot of use, especially the smoke bombs, which provide cover for your men. Unfortunately, these are now legal to use in all California bars. The game has 10 long missions with plenty of interesting objectives. Be advised, Iraqi armor is deployed in the town. The music in the game is pretty generic stuff, but finally someone decided to implement the personal soundtrack feature. Oh yeah, now that's music to fight by. 
it's much more satisfying to play through the campaign with a few buddies. And because each soldier has different abilities, every player is going to have something interesting and unique to contribute to the team. Conflict Desert Storm 2 is Xbox Live enabled, but don't get your hopes up. You can't actually play the game online. For a game that screams team play like this one, not being able to play online is a real sore spot. If you can get by the steep learning curve, there's some pretty compelling gameplay here. Certainly enough to keep you busy for a while. X-Play gives Conflict Desert Storm 2 back to Baghdad a 3 out of 5. Wow, from a 2 out of 5 to a 3 out of 5. Way to reach for the stars. Yeah, you know, maybe by the third installment you'll actually be able to find Saddam. Ooh. You know, that'd be totally worth a 4. Uh -huh. Up next, we learn that violence is the answer in WWE SmackDown. X-Play presented by the Nokia N-Gage wireless multiplayer gaming device. Engage anyone, anywhere. FIFA Soccer 2004, rated E for everyone. NCAA Football 2004, rated E for everyone. From EA Sports, now on Engage. So, have you found the big O? Overstock.com. The online outlet where you can find best-selling books 25% below Amazon. And save up to 70% on furniture, jewelry, watches, and electronics. All with $2.95 shipping and live customer service 24-7. Whatever you need, you'll find it. So isn't it time you found the big O? Overstock.com. We'd all take more risks. If we could control time. Rewind time. Freeze time. Controlling time is the ultimate power. Use it wisely. Rated T for Team. Prince of Persia. The Sands of Time. Once again, the wacky shenanigans of Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. You know, we have a wrestling game. Yes, and it's probably the best WWE game on the market. Woo it has more different kinds of matches than we can count and has a good story mode. And his girls are wrestling in their underwear. Yeah. Here's a review of WWE SmackDown. Here comes the pain. Pain? But where? Run! All the usual wrestlers are standing in attendance. Plus, their similarities to their real world counterparts can be scary. Oh, yes. Definitely spooky. This latest installment features revamped grappling mechanics, which is a break from SmackDown's previous emphasis on fast-paced arcade-style gameplay. But I don't want to imply that the game isn't still fast-paced. It's just that now you initiate a grapple of the specific type and then select a specific maneuver. It's as simple as that. And that. And that. This provides much more depth and tactical capabilities than in previous SmackDown games. It's beautiful, really. Additionally, a reversal system has been implemented that allows you to perform the I've got you, no, I've got you dance over and over again. Among the most significant features in Here Comes the Pain is the revamped season mode. And the seasons come complete with vicious backstage brawls. Get them. Plus, it's simply your best chance to try and hypnotize famous wrestlers like Goldberg, for example. You are getting sleepy, Goldberg. Sleepy, sleepy. Ringside, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain may be the best looking wrestling game out there. You can play any of the ladder matches, cage matches, and tag team combos that have become standard in the world of wrestling games. But this game also introduces the especially brutal bra and panties match. The object here is to, well, rip off your opponent's clothes. Ah, the humanity. Shake it off, sister. So let's see. The creator wrestler feature is as solid as it ever was. I know that's important to some of you. 
But as much as we'd love to hear a few sound bites from the actual wrestlers, we're still stuck filling in the lip sync ourselves. Blah, 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 blah. Can I borrow those underwear? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, any wrestling fan worth their salt will love this game. So slam this one down in your letter to Santa. We're giving SmackDown, Here Comes the Pain, a four out of five. What is it about scantily clad women in our fan base? I'm not sure. But I bet that you can probably find the answer on our website. That's at TechTV.com slash XPlay. And by answers, I mean streaming video of our anime porn segment and the Max Payne 2 Naked Mona Cheat or that picture of me with the uh, Oh! Up next, uh, what's going on in this scene from Armed and Dangerous? I never tired of that son. The most powerful game system now has the ultimate holiday offer. Get Tetris Worlds and Star Wars, and Clone Wars, two months of Xbox Live and an Xbox for only what? Rated E to T. Xbox. It's good to play together. Well, I think you look great. This year, the holidays are Gateway, so give the box. Inside, you'll find the season's hottest gifts. For a limited time, get a free Gateway 5-megapixel digital camera with the purchase of select PCs, like our M675, which features an Intel Pentium 4 processor with HD technology. Act now and get free shipping with delivery by Christmas. We also have great desktops starting under $500. So hurry in, give the box. Rated Teen, Xbox, it's good to play the game. Turn it up, I, I turn it up, whoa. Turn it up, I, I turn it up, whoa. Turn it up, I, I turn it up, whoa. Turn it up, turn it Run for your lives! It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. We're back, and with a new non-Star Wars game from LucasArts. And why should you care? Three words. Land, shark, gun. Here's a review of Armed and Dangerous. Show me your papers, now! You don't need to see our papers. We, we don't, don't need, need to, to see your, see your papers. papers. At LucasArts, they this. know all about Jedi mind tricks. Uh, you're both... French! We surrender! Okay, so maybe Armed and Dangerous ain't Star Wars, but it is a whole mess of fun. He'll split open the dead beast's stomach and stick Rexus amongst the warm entrails. Should keep him warm for at least a day. No, that's not necessary. Just stick it in there. Armed and Dangerous is a futuristic Old West-style shoot-'em-up filtered through Monty Python. You play Roman, the leader of a ragtag gang of Robin Hood-esque freedom fighters. Your cohorts include a giant tea-sipping robot, a smelly old man with a glass eye, and a Scottish rat thingy. I'm a mole, you smelly git! Your goal? To overthrow the despotic rule of this guy. I never tired of that sound. The wackiness extends well beyond the cutscenes. Among your arsenal, you have some pretty groovy weapons. There's the topsy-turvy bomb, which turns the primal forces of gravity against your enemies. And the new all-time X-Play favorite weapon, the land shark gun. Dunna, 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 yeah! Chompy, chompy! But, and this is a big but, <laughs> when the wackiness stops, the game gets real dull real fast. Sure, it's fun to rain devastation down on your foes with the personal mortar cannon the first couple dozen times. But how many bullseye houses do we have to blow up? It gets old. And for a game with such cool guns, you spend an awful lot of time just mowing down foes and innocent penguin bystanders with a plain old machine gun. Yawn. Bang. Yawn. And for every mission where you have to save a sacred sheep... Oh, or not save it. There's a whole bunch where you have to save villagers by dragging their floppy-ass bodies from one place to another. 
The occasional wipe out the oncoming army with a turret gun level adds some variety, but you're still mostly just shooting specs. Look, the enemy's approaching. What do you suggest? Armed and Dangerous seems like it's trying so hard to reach for the golden ring of wackiness that it can't quite stay on the horse. Yes, yes. Yes, we can plant a hedgerow. Ah. If the hedgerow. hilarious creativity that went yes. into the cutscenes and weapons Demon out! The had found its way into the actual gameplay, it would have been a truly standout title. As it is, we can only give Armed and Dangerous a less than wacky three out of five. Ah, ow, my legs! I love the land shark gun! Thanks for watching and visit our website to see even more of Adam's interview with Adam West. Must not black out. That's my Batman. Anyway, you can find our website, <laughs> techtv.com slash xplay. There you also have the naked Mona and naked anime and naked me. Sorry. Yeah, but there's also lots of stuff with Reviews of the games. You probably want to read those a lot Good night. more.